and I'm going to go on and make two white ones and then two covers. I was originally a weaver and a fiber artist. Somebody suggested that I experiment with making my own paper, and the first day that I took my paper making workshop, I fell in love with it. Now I've got my sheets made, and before I make the cover, I'm going to embellish these sheets. Using an applicator bottle, I begin applying my color. The unique thing about pulp painting is this pulp actually becomes part of the paper. It's not just on the surface like a watercolor. Now for a touch of red. What I've got here is a small screen using waterproof foam core, I've cut out some leaf shapes. I put the foam core on top of my frame and then just dip in so that the leaves fill up with pulp. And now I'm going to cooch these leaf shapes onto these birches. Now we're going to make some geometric shapes. And to finish this sheet off, I want to add some dried flower petals. Here I've got some dried larkspur. Now I'm going to make a collage using a photocopy that I have. In order to use a collage technique on this paper, I use wallpaper paste, also known as methyl cellulose. And now I have some commercial paper that I buy at paper stores. Here we go. Now I'm ready to work on the white sheets. <sighs> now I'm ready to start on the last sheet. Now I'm ready to transfer the sheets that I've made onto my drying system. I'm finished making the sheets. Now I'll make the cover. This is the completed cover for my booklet. I'm going to put my little booklet together. Here it is. It's done. It's beautiful.